How can we save you loads of time creating your content? Because at this stage, if you are working your way through the digital marketing, training, business training, going through the how to with Kyle, understanding the philosophy and the reasons we do things with myself, then you should be at this stage thinking, oh my God, this is a lot. If I create videos and in the future, I want to create blogs, podcasts, all sorts of stuff around my personal brand. How on earth do I do this? Well, the point of this video at this stage, at the level one stage of baton is to give you the understanding that the work you are doing now will also become worthwhile in the future. And with this part in mind, it will also help you in determining how to create the content and how to think about creating the content to allow it to be evergreen. So as an example, in my videos, I don't really say, here I am at this time, this date, this particular topic is applicable for this particular season. My The content and the business philosophy that we're creating and teaching you, yes, it's very current and very up to date. However, we try to keep it as evergreen as possible. So this section, will show you how to do the work once. So do the work once, but also save you time in the long run. And that's the key. So the work you're doing now can be used again. That's what we're going to go into. So whilst I go into this section, you're also going to be thinking, oh my God, well, I'm just by myself. I don't necessarily have the time and the resource to actually implement this. Well, remember at this stage, this is purely for information so that you are ready when we get to the stage two element or you are interacting with us in the community, you can start implementing these stages to save you time in the future. That is the key takeaway for this section. It's mainly for information, but it's to show you how if you've seen social media influencers out there, a business owner out there, and you're thinking, how on earth are they producing this much content? I just can't comprehend it. How are they producing all this content? I have no idea how they're producing this content. Well, a lot of them are using this system. There's a few different names for it, but ultimately we're just going to keep it very simple and say you're going to do the work once via video and use that video content to produce lots of other content which can be used in lots of different ways. So let's dive in with what we mean. So there's three key stages here. And at stage number one is what we're teaching you in the level one baton part of this training, which is video. And this video is ideally, you know, five to 10 minutes long. And as you go and develop your brand, and for example, when you implement what Kyle is gonna teach you about the meetup, if you happen to have recorded the meetup and you're doing a session in front of a whole bunch of people, for example, if I've done previous workshops, digital marketing workshops, I will record that workshop either via video and audio. And that could be anything from 60 minutes plus. So that is the stage one. So that is here. The key thing here is video content. That's the number one thing we're focusing on at the first stage. And at the first stage, the level one baton training, that's exactly what we're talking about when dealing with this particular section. We're not asking you to do anything else. We haven't talked about WordPress websites. We haven't talked about creating website. We haven't talked about creating a blog, creating an audio podcast, anything like that. That is not the point at this stage. But let's say we have now developed a bank of video. How do we expand the reach? How do we get this message further and to more people? And in the type of content that they like to consume, type of content. And if you watch the type of content section, we've got video, short form video, we have written, we've got audio, and these are the key types of content that an audience might consume. So if you think about in the past, people would consume radio, television, as the core pieces of content or purely audio through their Walkman or MP3 player, etc. That hasn't changed. That type of media still exists, 
but it just is distributed through different tools, which we now call things like social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, even, you know, smart televisions have apps on the television. Uh, the channels themselves have players, you know, on-demand players, and they will present this type of content out there. So now at level two, what can we do? The key word to understand here is the word repurpose. So at this stage, we are now going to repurpose the content into different forms. And those forms will now be repurposed from the original video content. So from stage number stage number one, the original video content, we are now going to repurpose that content into different types of content because the video already exists. So what do we do and how do we do this? And what type of content can we produce? Well, what we know is we have video. What we know is we have audio. And from that audio, we can get text. So we've got three key elements. So in terms of video, we can turn the long video into short forms because we know sometimes audience people, audiences may not want to watch a 5, 10, 60 minute video. They may just want to grab a quick message, which is maybe 30 to 60 to 1 minute, 30 seconds long, quickly in a short form. And they just want to be focused on a specific piece of content, a specific message that you're doing in terms of educating. For example, if I'm doing this piece of content to them, I could be focusing on this particular section. Now, I, I could literally have a segment which says, now we have the long form video, let's repurpose that video into three key areas, short video, audio, and text. So we can process the video and turn it into audio. So what does that mean in terms of content? Well, that means podcast. That means audio, short audio form pieces of content, which also go into our social channels. And then we also have text. What we do internally, and you know, this is for this it is for information at this stage, but we will in future levels of baton training, start to show you the different levels and what is involved, whether you outsource to companies like Fiverr.com or Upwork for this type of work, or you have an internal team and how you get them to implement this stage by stage via a system. And the text, basically, we want to turn that into blog posts. So we're keeping this very, very simple. Now, if your video quality is good quality, you may also want to consider images. Now, what can we produce of images? We can produce uh, literally pictures from that video form of content. Imagine you're interviewing somebody, you could grab a picture from that. You can turn that into quotes. You know, maybe your guest or maybe yourself said something very powerful, something meaningful, something very specific to your brand and message. You can pull that out as a quote. You could take a short form of that video. And I guess this is a hybrid between image and video, but you could turn that into a short animated piece of content. And that's the key. So what we've done, if we look, if we just quickly recap at this stage is we've taken some video, whether it's five to 10 minutes, whether it's from our meetup, whether it's some interaction with our tribe, and that could, that could be a 60 minute piece of content. We turn that video into short form content. We pull the audio from that and turn that into a podcast. And we pull the text from that audio and turn that into a trans transcription or simply put a blog which can go on your website. It can go as captions under your social media channels. And if the video content is good or you had particular images from that event or that share, you can turn that into pictures and quotes. So what happens is from one piece of video content, you've now got, let's tally up here. We've got one piece of long form content. From that long form content, let's say we get one, two, three, four pieces of short form video content. We have a podcast, we have a blog, we get maybe two pictures, we get one, two, three, four quotes from that. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces of content to distribute from that one video. 
And if you think about social media and how how frequently or infrequently, depending on what type of quality content you're producing, that could be half a month's content around one specific message or video. And that's all produced from this original piece of video content up here, ultimately, ultimately saving you time in the long run. So the videos that we're encouraging you to do at this stage at the level one baton course can all be saved. They're all going to be online. They're going to be there to be used in the future and repurposed rather than having to do the work multiple times, having to create 13 pieces of content from scratch. So we're saving you time and you're essentially doing the work once. And this process of repurposing over here has the ability to be outsourced or if you have an internal team or you could hire somebody at low cost and say this is what I want to be done with this one particular video and they may charge you per hour of content. So if the video is 60 minutes, they may charge you for 60 minutes worth of content. That's typically what's happening out there or they may charge you a retainer. Now, once you have all these pieces of content, where does it go? What do we do with it? Well, now we look at the final piece of the puzzle, which we've already started to talk about in this training, which is the actual distribution. I'm going to change that color so we can actually see what it says. Distribution. So now we're looking at the distribution of that content wherever you are operating at the time. And I know at the time of recording this, we are have spoken about Instagram, we've spoken about Facebook, we've spoken about Meetup. And beyond this point, remember there's lots of other channels which we can expand on, LinkedIn, YouTube, you've got places like Quora in terms of quotes and transcripts and text. You've got Twitter. For example, you could repurpose one of your images to go on Twitter. You could take an extract from your blog to go onto Twitter. You've got Snapchat, Instagram TV, WeChat. This could be distributed via your email marketing. So you've got a whole host of social channels which exist now or exist in the future. It's it's irrelevant. The key is we've got an asset bank of content where we do the work once, repurpose that. And when I say do the work, I mean create the content. All we are doing in the second stage is repurposing that content and then we are distributing it. This entire process, we recommend being outsourced or we recommend certainly trying it yourself until you refine the process and then hire somebody. The reason we hire somebody at level two and level three is because your business is now generating revenue so you can afford to hire somebody to do this or outsource the work. We never recommend this at the level one stage because the key here is to attract the audience's attention at the foundational level and start to generate revenue and get sales. So we're still gonna be focusing on video but I wanted to bring your attention to what is gonna be coming up in the future and how you can leverage the work that you're doing now rather than thinking, damn, when I get to level two or level three of the baton training and that part of my business, do I have to create a whole bunch of content again? Not necessarily. You've done an amazing job so far with creating video content, which is also can be considered as documenting your business's journey, documenting the education process for your audience, which can be pulled back many, many, many years later. Uh, it can even be pulled back as original video content redated and saying hey look at this stuff i was filming two three four five years ago and again this is personally something i wish i did so i want to share this with the audience we started to do it now but i wish we documented our journey in terms of digital marketing and property from day one and the building of our community from day one it hasn't been documented so i encourage you to document this yourself and it all starts from the anchor point of video which can be turned into short form video audio via podcast or other forms of audio it could be turned to audio course text transcriptions which get turned to blogs those blogs can be turned into ebooks those ebooks can be turned into fully written books and i want you to think about it this way we're leveraging the time because we're doing the work once and what's the point of this you know the point is ultimately we're saving time so let's now we've covered that section, let's just go into an outcome summary, 
what we've covered is how we can do the work once and repurpose that content. That's that's a massive takeaway from this section. Next is you don't have to keep on creating new content because the original content already exists. So if you look at the pointer here in the top left screen, the video has been created once so we don't have to continuously create new content yes we may have to do some design branding and repurpose that content but we're not having to physically create that content again so it's no different to learning what other successful authors do in their books you know they turn book number one into a second edition a third edition fourth edition they then repurpose that book into multiple languages they may turn that book into short guides. They may take extracts from that book and use it as part of their online blog. They may take the introduction chapter as a part of their sales funnel to encourage people to buy the book. It's exactly the same situation. We're just repurposing content after doing the work once. Like authors have done the work once with their first edition, they just come back, freshen it up, introduce it in terms of new ideas, keeping it current turning it into different languages and then redistributing it and that's the message here do the work once and then redistribute it again and again and again so the key the question i want to leave you with is a more of a creative question uh, whether you're a business owner whether you're an employee within the business or you're a startup and you're thinking about what type of content do i have as an exercise with a notepad and a pen just sketch out the different ways on which you can repurpose the content. And that's the number one thing, you know, we've spoken about videos, audios, quotes, just think about how creative you can get. How can you do something slightly different to what's been done out there currently and repurpose your content and squeeze every little bit out of the work that you've done once. So I guess that's the key message I'm leaving you with. Squeeze every bit of content you can out of the one original piece of content you created. So on that note, let's watch and head into the next part of this level one baton training.